What's going on guys, it's Low Florida and welcome back to another Dead Matter video. And really quick guys, I made my own Discord called The Bakery, so I can interact with all of my subscribers and talk about upcoming video games and talk bullshit and just hang out and create a nice community. I will be hosting a Dead Matter server when the game does go into closed alpha, and I have voice channels and text chats specifically for Dead Matter backers. They're locked channels, so you will need to be a backer to access them. I think this will be a great way to interact with my community and have a fun Dead Matter experience. I'm a little new when it comes to discourse, so take it easy on me. Anyways, let's get back to the video. We got some nice info on Friday regarding the character creation system, and I'm loving what I'm seeing so far. So I'm just gonna go through this one minute video and see the perks you can choose from, as well as the occupations, and how I think this is gonna affect your character. First off, I just wanna say I absolutely love the feeling of this menu. It gives off an eerie vibe and kinda makes me feel like I'm about to be playing a game during a crazy zombie apocalypse, which look at that. But one thing I'm questioning is the ability to have multiple characters on a server. And you can see it says create character, new character, select character. So what do you guys think? So simple enough, you just put in your name and then you're brought to the perks and occupations menu. And as you can see on the left, each occupation can give you a certain amount of perk points depending on the occupation. But picking an occupation will give you a variety of perks, good and bad, as well as having certain items that you spawn with. And that's badass, dude. Everyone will start off with something. You know what I mean? Like, if you're unemployed, you'll get some clothes and a melee weapon. But if you're a chef, you're going to get a chef outfit and a kitchen knife. Which is kind of funny, but it's realistic. The chef was probably at work when all this shit went down, and that's all he had. Side note, the RP in this game is just gonna be awesome, let me just tell you that. We then see a character data chart showing your attributes and skills. In order to continue onto the next screen, you'll need to have a total of zero perk points. So, as you can see on the perk section, there are a bunch of different perks. These perks can be good, and they can be bad. And they're broken down into four sections. Trait, Hobby, Skill, and Stat. And this is awesome to see because it's going to make each character unique as well as keep the game balanced and kind of realistic. So moving on, you can see he clicks on the firefighter occupation and your character data is changed immediately. You can visualize what your character is good at. And it's pretty cool because if you want some cooler perks that would fit your playstyle, you can click on a negative perk to give you some extra points to spend on whatever you want. You can also notice that firefighters spawn with your work outfit and a fire axe. But another thing that has me kind of confused is that it shows your initial load out and it says you get an AKM with four magazine and a CZ-75 with five magazines and some soda and a baseball bat. So I'm guessing you spawn in with this fire axe plus the rest of the items when you first hop in the server. But when you die, you'll spawn with army pants, a security vest, long sleeve shirt, a small army bag, a beanie, and some gloves. So that's pretty dope because when you die, it won't feel like you lost so much progression. And it kind of goes in line with like the new tool belt system they have. Because when you die, anything in your tool belt will stay on your body. So let's take a look at the perks Nick hovers over and see how they affect your character. We've seen that Jogger gives you two points in agility, but Astronomer draws a compass on the screen at night when pressing the HUD prompt key. And that sounds super dope and super helpful. Then we have Iron Stomach where you get sick less often when drinking and eating. Noisy Surge causes to make 50% more noise when searching a container. Heavyweight means you get drunk far less easily, which is dope when you want to out drink someone for some loot. And then we got Lightfoot that makes your footsteps 30% quieter. Sausage Fingers makes you 50% slower when searching, while Nimble Fingers makes you 50% faster when searching and everyone knows what a lightweight is. Then we see some other perks like having a peanut allergy as well as being paranoid, which probably causes like gunshots being heard or, or hearing zombies, which would be pretty cool. And I'm not gonna go through all of them, but you can kind of get the idea of what these perks will do to your character. It gives the player the ability to really mold the character they want to make without making things too unbalanced. And I'm sure there's going to be a meta for the best perks to pick, but I'm excited with the variety of perks we're getting, and I love how in-depth these occupations are. But that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed and found this video helpful. What occupations are you guys going to be picking and why? What perks are you already picking after seeing this video? Let me know in the comments below, guys. Thank you so much for coming out. I always appreciate it. I'm Low Floyd, and stay toasty out there.